That bucket doesn't have an avatar face, does it? Fucking picture today, y'all. Mm. I got my Phillips screwdriver. What? Oh, I went live. <laughs> Now I gotta go dig the painting out. <laughs> no. I don't like this setup. Let you do a fucking like, avatar face. It's so bright outside. I don't even know where my fucking sunglasses are. Up above your head. Up above. Up above. Ugh. There they are. Oh my god, so fucking bright. So everyone, here's what's gonna happen. So like I ran out of fucking stream hours. So now I gotta hop up and do it on this one. Yay. Man, it's bright outside. Mm. My mom made this bomb ass split pea soup. That shit tasted so good. Don't worry, it's just your friendly tobacco. Okay, it's closed. Actually, a pack of those sounds so good. Like, I actually would buy a pack of those and just smoke them. Not like all at once. I used to smoke them with all the Jeff. <coughs> no. When when we first got to St. Cloud, um, Tammy and her sister, um, her sister, we were all getting stoned with her, and she busts out a club cigarette. Never had one before. And she's like, hit this. And then, after you're done hitting it, I just look like a. Never mind. But um, she said before I hit the joint, lick my lips. So I licked my lips, and it was the flavor of the clove. And then it hit the weed, and that shit tasted so good. So like, 
once in a great blue fucking moon, I will actually buy a pack of clove cigarettes and smoke them. It takes me a couple months. <laughs> couple months to smoke a pack of cloves. No, I quit smoking cigarettes in uh, 2020. January of 2020, I quit smoking cigarettes. That's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm still hacking shit. <laughs> but I don't know, like, I don't know how y'all can, like, sit there and not notice that they put added more chemicals to your fucking cigarettes. That, that's why I quit smoking them. They fucking trigger the fuck out of my migraines and then make me fucking puke for days on end. So I'm like, dude, no. And I smoke Marlboros. An occasional pack of Newports. Shit, when I first started smoking cigarettes, I was... Okay, the first time I smoked an actual cigarette, I was... Shit. We lived on Clancy. I got a whole and dad's cigarettes. I got my brother to go up to the bathroom with me. Close the door. Fucking... Open the window and sat No, the actually, we opened the window, but we went over to the toilet. So just in case you or dad came, like, like was gonna we like quickly just? I mean, you, you guys would have busted us anyway with the smell of it. But I was like, already flushed down the toilet. <laughs> but I took one hit off the cigarette and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> but then a couple of years later, before we left Michigan, summer '92, my brother and I decided we were going to go to a store. We were going to ride our bikes up into East Grand Rapids. It's where like all the fucking lawyers, doctors and fucking politicians live there in Grand Rapids. Like the rich people. We actually got to take a tour of what was it? The Blodgett, Blodgett, Blodgett Mansion. Um, right there in East Grand Rapids, you have the Blodgett Hospital. That Reed's Lake. Reed's Lake. And so my brother and I, I walked into the store and I was the one who took the pack of cigarettes. <laughs> it was before they put the cigarettes behind the counter. What's up, boo girl? I have to reply to that later. I forgot to put my do not disturb on. <laughs> What's up, mamas? You want up? You wanna be on camera? Turn around. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go, mamas. Oh, she's a good girl. Aww. Mama loves you too. What's that? That's not a fucking flea, is it? Nope, just pink fuzz. <laughs> hey, I do not like bugs on my dogs. Where are you going, mamas? She don't like the camera, so she's like, fuck it. Now watch Nani. Hi, puppy. Come say hi. Get up here. Get up here. There you go, you big guy. Oh, you big guy. Look at that big guy. No, no. Say hi. I did tell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got an eye booger. I got an eye booger. I got that. I got the other one. Yeah, I fucking pluck them motherfucking things off. Yeah. Take your bling off so it's not sitting on that. There. That feel better? No, you're welcome. Naked boy. Thank you. Okay. There go the kids. <laughs> Gotta say hi. Gotta say hi. There's a goober in the eye. No, I'm, no. No. Good girl. Sean, come back up. So. Take another hit of this and then. I don't know, are you going to be sitting there while I put that up? Or are you going to move to the. Because I'm going to. No, I can't. It's YouTube live stream, not live stream yard. They don't have like a thing where you can fucking. I got 
flip the well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the phone back there so it's aimed this way. And if it's gonna be aimed this way, uh, it might I was just asking because Oh, uh, it's tobacco. It's tobacco. Prove it, motherfuckers! Uh, prove it! Fucking OG bitch up in the house today. I think it needs to know. So like I said, I got my Phillips screwdriver. The screw's still back there. <coughs> I got my fucking screw. Three screws. <coughs> Best fucking soda tea right here, y'all. Hear that? Uh, there are three six packs left of this shit. I fucking took them. I started fucking took them all. Should have seen what I did to this pregnant bitch last year. <laughs> I was actually gonna like, the, um, it was at a Walmart, and they, it was the 12 packs, cans, and there was two two up front, and I was gonna take them, but then she got like, she got all huffy, huffy and puffy with me, you know, like, oh my god, can you leave one? And I'm like, oh my god, bitch, there's like one way in the back, have fun getting it. So I put my two cases in the fucking car, and I fucking... Strutted my ass down the aisle. <laughs> Fucking pregnant bitch. And it wasn't even like on the lower level. So, you know, where it'd be easy for her to get on her hands and knees. Pro something she's probably used to anyway. That's probably how she ended up fucking pregnant anyway. <laughs> anyway. And, uh. Hey, can you guys figure out where I'm at right here? I doubt it. Anyway, <laughs> it was like at level where you literally need to get a step stool or go find someone to go get the fucking case of soda from the back part of the shelf. You know, she could have been like cool and fucking nice, but she used her fucking pregnancy as an excuse to be like, I'm pregnant. You should give that to me. And I'm like, fuck you, bitch. You chose to get fucking pregnant, not me. There's a reason I'm almost in my mid-40s with zero fucking kids. I don't like them. That's why I can care less if they get kidnapped. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm probably thinking like, fucking mean, bitch. Society made me mean. Someone has to be. What's up, mamas? It's so hot outside. Mm. Thank goodness for an air conditioner. I know that AC feels good even though I got my fucking window cracked open. <laughs> well, we don't want to die. Mm. Look at the turkeys over there. <laughs> My family got wild turkeys all over the place. Okay. Did you clean that up yet? Did I give you the tool yet? Nope. I thought I thought I did. I need to charge. I'm gonna end up with ear cancer because of these things. I tell you what I won't end up with. I ain't gonna end up with booty cancer. <laughs> I ain't gonna end up with ass cancer. Jaw cancer. Fucking ass cancer because you put it in their hoods. <laughs> oh, those are the small yens that yeah. fucking will put in there and then walk around. And then they wonder why their cars are all fucked up because they got their cell phones yeah, like phones this. It's all like this. And you know, obviously it's gonna fuck with your peripheral vision. No, seriously, be if you're in an area that has a bunch of, um, radical, radical Islamic Somalian refugees, um, 
Look at their cars. They're all dent the fuck up. I even witnessed a fucking accident in Minnesota before we made it back home. And what it was is, um... They think they got so much privilege in this fucking country. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, they actually go around shooting off fucking guns. Like, they're, like, still over back in fucking Somalia and shit. And the cops do nothing, you know? But they're gonna come fucking harass me because I got I got a mouth on me. What the fuck ever, man. Anyway... Fucking Chica comes, it was a female driving, but before the cops showed up, she had called her fucking husband to say, hey, I got in an accident and stuff. So what happened was before the cops got there, he showed up and said he was the driver. Well, because I don't like them anyway. <laughs> Because I know what they're here for. I inserted for. myself into the drama. I ins yeah, I inserted yeah, myself into the, the drama. drama. It was a it was a married couple. This was in St. Cloud. This was a married couple from out of Bemidji. And I said, I witnessed it all because I was out having a cigarette, right? And because I don't smoke in the vehicle when I did smoke. And so I told the off because... They're trying to tell the officer that it was the female, but the the husband of the female is all like, no, 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 I was driving. I, I'm like, no. Nah. So the, the, the married couple told the cops that, you know, told the officer I was a witness and that they can, if they need me, they can send them over and I would, you know. And I told the truth. I straight up told the truth. I said it was the female driving. She called him because five minutes after the accident, he was there. He wasn't here when it happened. So they got busted for f fucking lying to the police officer and stuff. And let me tell you, that fucking dude, the, the um, Islamic dude, he was fucking throwing daggers at me. And I went like this to him. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Go home. Go home. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can say whatever about me, but you know what? I don't like the fact that there's fucking terrorists in my country, and that's my opinion. It's not misinformation, anyone. It's my fucking personal opinion. And experience. And personal experience. There are some nice ones there. I'm not going to lie. I, I met some nice Somalian Muslim women. Like it said, they're good and bad, and the bad to in every, er, every walk of life. life. But unfortunately, with the refugees that are here in America, and to be honest, thank God they're all out there in the fucking Midwest. Sorry, family and friends that are out that way, but I like the fact that I can go somewhere and not have to fear that I'm going to get either suicide bombed or plowed down by a minivan. Or a dagger. Or a dagger. <laughs> and it's not that I'm racist, it's just I've done my research. I know Maybe the difference. Yeah. I got it in my face. Anyway. The motherfucker, yeah, I straight up, I straight up fucking inserted myself into something that I normally wouldn't do because I always mind my own fucking business. But since them motherfuckers always wanted to call the fucking cops every week on my fucking dogs, it's like, you know, payback, bitch. Every week, these, these people, because in their culture, dogs are filthy animals, and it's like, we kind of came to the wrong fucking country because us Americans, we love our dogs. And the reason, you know, you want my honest opinion on why they don't like dogs is because the dogs sense how evil they really are. My dogs, Shoot, our dogs don't like my every dogs. time one like one of them would walk by past our vehicle, all three of my dogs would seriously, they would get mohawks. And, and then next thing you know, they send their kids over to taunt my dogs. 
and they think there's no one in supervise in the vehicle supervising my dogs but unbeknownst to them here comes fucking shady hopping out the vehicle going what the fuck you doing and you people wonder why you get mauled to death by fucking dogs because you tease and taunt them and then the parent just ain't gonna the dad because you know in their culture women are nothing no you got water and stuff back there but anyway that's that's a whole t another topic for a whole nother day stop it morgan I'm just voicing opinions and personal experience. I think what it what, what it is is that the the um the Muslim men didn't like me because I didn't hold my tongue. And that's why they didn't like me because I stood up to them and I straight up said your beliefs don't apply to me as long as I'm here in America. Okay? And guess what else? And get it don't apply to me if I was even in your country. Actually, it would. Well, the law. Yeah. I mean, if I was to go over to, like, just say, Iran or Iraq, where, you know, it is forced upon the women to be covered, I would have to respect the law and wear it. Well, I know all that. Yeah. A lot of people don't though. Oh god, I thought that was a bug, but let's get this fucking painting. Are you gonna stay right there? Oh wait, we're gonna do this real quick. Did you uh you got everything? I have to go get the screws and then I have to probably get I have to get the step stool. Dude, check this out you guys. Some bit the fuck out of my arm. Look at that shit. You see it? Probably not. Hold on. Look at that. Right there. That shit was way out here. I think it was a spider. I think a spider got me. That shit. I haven't even gone to the hospital for it yet. <laughs> I'm a subject, you know, I get the, all the fucking oozy, nasty shit out of it, and then I fucking take a Q-tip. see these people behind us? Can't see it from here. No, no. Other tourists. I didn't even have a handicap flap. But the fucking driver. Look at that. Holy shit. That car. That van got fucked up. That van got fucked up. Mm. Ah. Um, bright today. I need some big Hollywood sunglasses. That's what I need. I need, like, some big fucking celebrity fucking Hollywood shit. Nothing like what the Kardashians wear, that fucking futuristic shit. What the fuck is that shit? I don't get fucked. That's just yuck. Too futuristic. Too futuristic for me. <coughs> What's up, Krishna? I mean, I'm gonna use this fucking YouTube shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. So if I accidentally, like, fucking. Oh nope, it came back. Oh. I don't see. Fuck. I didn't want to fucking hype chat. Fuck it. No, fuck this shit. Mm. Don't your arms ever get tired fighting the choppers like this? Like, I think they got carpal tunnel. 
Like their shoulders, and the shoulders like gotta be so fucked up from just like the vibration. Okay, I'm going to get ready and set my camera up. I got my tools. So right here, you guys. Right here is where my painting's going. We got all this good yummy produce and shit. Oh, that dishes, yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can flip this real quick. So, it's organized shit, you know. Because, you know, so much. The lid. Lid. See. These right here are the best fucking eggs ever. I got these eggs just for cooking purposes. Got... Yeah, let's see. Mushrooms from Omnit. Got the broccoli and call it like fucking man. Look at all this yummy juice. We'll do that with their vehicles. Over there. So this is my produce crate right here. And then, you know, just little stuff. Oh no. There we go. painting so let me tell you a little bit about this painting everyone this was from a local painter or a local from grants and what he does is he paints on black felt this is black felt right here so can you guys see that he's really like he did what more of like redwood scenes yeah he, the painter who did this did more of the redwood scene so um my mom has one it's um my my brother and i are like totally fighting over it too but yeah he, he painted it it was special ordered it was like big redwoods it, it's a big redwoods with the stream running through it and now my grandparents, they have like, it, theirs is actually, actually bigger than this, isn't it? Oh, it's three Wait. times that size. Three times the size. And it's of the um si redwood trees, same. So this is what I'm putting. Up, up there. It's what my auntie gave me. Okay, so now I gotta go find the screws, so hold on, guys. I'm not screwed. I'm a step stool. Okay. It's 
where I'm mounting it, yo. So, like, I already have the holes pre drilled on there. And. Right here, got holes pre-drilled. Make it go a lot faster and easier. So we are using Number 10 by 3 inch. So 3 inch screws. Can't do that, it's gonna put a big old fucking hole in Okay. I kinda fucked up guys, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Almost got it through there. <laughs> through here. Shit. Can you? Never mind. Don't get up. Okay. Screws. They're bigger than the damn fucking holes that I drilled. So I gotta fucking screw that shit in.
Oh goodness. It's killing my carpal tunnel already. Come through yet? I'm still here. Someone no. Okay. Yep, I got all three in. What's up, everyone? Let's see here. I'm hoping. Okay, guys, here it goes. Watch out, Melanie, watch your head.
I think it already has because it's starting to look kind of like strip. What do you think, guys? Damn. Look at that shit. What do you think? Look good, huh? It's that TV now. Look at that. I guess. Looks good. Where's the scissors? Oh, guys, that is. What cool. Now we're going to get ready for Trivial Pursuit, so 
this would be a good time for y'all to go get your snacks, whatever, whatever, and, uh, let's have some Saturday night fun. Get your hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, get your hors d'oeuvres. Get your poison. Pick your poison. Go get your poison. Hey, Mom, can you move the tablet for me? What's up? Doggy bed. Doggy bed by day. My bed by night. <clears throat> I'm okay with sleeping on the floor. Sometimes it actually helps the back. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's some damn good soup. I've always just thrown onions in the boiler. <laughs> you need something? I know, but unfortunately, I got the blue eyes, which make it that much more sensitive. There we go, getting set up, guys. Even with the AC going, it still gets fucking hot. Shit, made a fucking mess. Everything we eat and drink is poison. And mechanical. Have you guys tried that fake meat yet at Mickey D's? Burger King? That lab? That lab meat? Mmm, Probably yum. from Wuhan. Because <laughs> everything comes from a lab in China. Yep. Oh no, I see a, a, a nuclear bomb headed toward me for saying that. Oh no! God, what'll happen if I say Putin rocks? Oh my god, you just started World War III. <laughs> you know what? I should have just left the step still here. Yeah. I know, because I'm tired of bending over for this shit. Bird food. No, this is the poison food we throw out. Some graham crackers don't even taste good no more. Remember you like had to dunk them motherfuckers for like a few moments? And then they break up. There you go. go Need something. Oh, that wasn't it. That one was. There we go. I like the eight millimeter look. It's like old school, classic, classic. You know what? I actually can make a fucking portable table. I just gotta clear all this shit off again. Let's see. I'll go get the stool if you want. That's up to you if you want to. Are you gonna stay up here? Are you gonna stay up here after getting it? Okay, I'll take that out. Yeah. 
I like y'all never fucking done shit like that. I don't swallow. It's you, puppy. <coughs> okay. So, <coughs> we all know how the game goes. <coughs> Got the dice. The, 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 the die. Fucking two thousand card pickup. Just kidding, I got fucking lucky. I should put a check mark here and check how many times we go through like each of these. What I should do is just go down and just read each question to y'all, but what? Told y'all go get your poisons. We're playing. We're fucking playing. taken care of. This. Hold on a second, get my water. Okay. I may have to fucking cut this off. Wait. Uh.
look back there. You're all comfortable back there. What are you doing up here? He don't want to be back there all by himself. He has Margie back there, and we're both back there. Margie doesn't pet him. <laughs> huh? Margie doesn't pet him. Let's see if the fucking dice roll better on this. Oh, fucking There we go. I just needed a more solid space. Get this on. Oh, yeah. This is going to work a lot better. There's my pen. There's my Pandora. Sorry guys, I was looking for my Pandora. I'm trolling right now. Well, it was, but yes. Seventies, are you listening to the seventies? Was dead.
<laughs> that was one of my trademark songs. I like that song. I also like uh, So, hip hop started in the 70s. No, only if you go back to the I think that's what they're doing because it says celebrating 50 years of hip hop. So, Blondie was. It has to be 1970 because it's a little. Yeah, I don't care where we go. But who was the first hip hop artist then? No, hey, we should ask Google. Yeah. The hip hop is see? 50 years old. Who was the artist that put it on the map? No, no, stop it. I can't think of anyone Stop. in 1970, because that was like... Who was the very first hip-hop artist? According to The Guardian, rap music is usually traced back to such late 70s offerings as the Fatback Bands, King Tim the Third, and Sugar Hill's Rapper's Delight, which were the first rap hip-hop records. Okay, so rap music is usually traced back to such late 70s offerings as... But you know what it was? Because right there at night, in the early 1980s was the <coughs> break dancing. Part. Yeah. Well, let me finish. Um, <coughs> 70s offerings as the <coughs> fat back bands. Who the fuck is that? Now that when I, we first moved to Grand Rapids, Michigan... Burton Heights. Um, I got to know a neighbor that listened to underground rap, and I was listening to that rap before it was brought public, where they were scratching the records and stuff in the music. Mm -hmm. That wasn't until the late '80s that record scratching came into play, but. It was underground, so if they're going underground to when rap began. But you know, you're only going to get that underground in heavily populated black neighborhoods. Like Not living in the ghetto. Everyone across the map. Okay, so it goes on to say, um, and Sugar Hill's Rapper's Delight, which were the first hip hop, first rap hip hop. Re records. However, the last poet's debut album 19 in 1970, which was a rap record in all but name, has has a as good a What the fuck? Who, who fucking writes this shit? Are, are now generations. What the fuck? That makes it no... It sounds like they've created a has, big stutter without talking. It's printed. Has a as good a... What the fuck? <laughs> Only in America. What? Oh my, I can't even fucking finish reading this shit. And this is from The Guardian. See, that's why motherfuckers need to stop depending on, like, fucking autocorrect shit, man. Because this should be making me stupid as fuck. <laughs> I ain't fucking that's worse playing. Than broken English. Dude, it's worse than fucking Spanglish. Uh, that's like a, a fucking Pick stupid, Latin. a stupid white person trying to speak, like, half English slash Spanish because they don't know the fucking... You know, fucking word to say. Okay, so here's some other question. Oh, so here's a question: Who was the first rap rapper ever? <coughs> According to this, Coke La Rock. What the? F 
Never heard of them, motherfuckers. Is known what? for being the first rapper to ever spit rhymes after teaming up with DJ Cool Herc in 1973, and both are recognized as the original founding fathers of hip hop. Rap music was originally underground. And you know who uh, on their show played Not Charles, Christian. underground artist rather than these popular artists that were out at the time in the 70s? Mm. That would be um, SNL. They had underground artists come play on mm. the show as the musical host until they, they, they made their place on the map. Then they started bringing in the state of the art now players of talent. Of oh, go time. figure. My phone would fucking die that fucking quick. <laughs> okay, so I guess there ain't gonna be an ulterior pursuit right as yet. May come back later tonight and do a jam session with y'all. But anyway, so here's another question. Who started hip-hop rap? According to this, according to Google... The major pioneers of rapping were Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Curtis Blow and the Cold Crush Brothers, whose Grandmaster Kaz is controversially considered by some to be the true author of some of the strongest lyrics in Rapper's Delight. These early MCs and DJs constituted rap's old school. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who founded hip hop? Clive Campbell. According to Google, Clive Campbell. While a number of people were influential in the creation of hip hop, much credit is given to Cool Herc. Clive Campbell, a Jamaican immigrant who was the first major hip hop disc jockey. You know, some fucking. Why do they keep adding stupid other stupid questions? And now it's starting to go in fucking circles because they're asking the fucking question. Same question, but differently. Just like you do when you go, like, fucking apply for, like, the online j applications for jobs. And it, like, takes you two hours to answer their fucking question. No, Technically, it's, like, ten questions asked five different times. The IQ test. Is that what that is? No, the IQ test is, like, 500 I joke about because I said I would like to live on the top of a mountain stream running by me. <laughs> and a friend of mine told me when I started talking about living on a mountain, she said, no, 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 you don't want them to hear you say that. <laughs> and I was like, why? And she says, because then they'll think you're you're um, unsociable. What's the thing? Antisocial. Antisocial. And you know, you, you have fucking all of America's issues. fucking antisocial. Look how America abuses each other. You suffer depression. You have all these other mental issues. And it's like, are you serious? America. I just want to be by myself in nature. America's full of fucking abusers and victims. And nine times out of ten, it's the abusers claiming victimhood. <laughs> That's what America's come to now. They taught that class to America back in the The evening. bully gets credit for being the victim. Okay, so next next question. Who was the first gangster rapper? Gangsta. Gangsta. According to fucking Google, rapper Schooly D. Philadelphia rapper Schooly D. What the fuck? You son of a bitch. Okay. Philadelphia rapper Schooly D is generally considered the first gangsta rapper significantly influencing the more popular early gangsta rap originator Ice-T. But what? What's up Ice-T? Okay. Who is the king of rap? <gasps> Are you serious? Do you want to guess? Tupac? No, they, he should, though. But he's more than just, you know, the fucking king of rap. King. They're t titling Eminem 
I'm going to say Eminem. Who is the king of rap? According to Google, Eminem. Eminem has been crowned the king of hip-hop by Rolling Stone. The magazine took a look at solo rappers who released albums from 2009 to the present. Taking into account album sales, rankings on the R&B, hip-hop, and rap charts, YouTube video views, social media, concert grosses, awards, and critics' opinions. Nice. Who popularized hip-hop? Hip-hop pioneers. Several people were influential in creating hip-hop. However, the most notable pioneers are DJ Cool Herc, Africa Bambada, never heard that person, and Grandmaster Flash. These three innovators are known as the Holy Trinity of Hip Hop. Who named Hip Hop? There are various explanations for the source of the term hip-hop. However, the most popular ones involve Keith, Keith Cowboy Wiggins, a member of a rap group, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five. Oof. How old is hip-hop? Okay, so check this out, guys. According to, to Sprite, they're celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. Okay. Question is, how old is hip hop music? Origins. Early hip hop music saw its roots in the 1970s in the New York City borough of the Bronx. It started as a collaboration among intersecting groups of black, Latin, 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 Latin people. It's Latin with the X, and I can't fucking Latin. Latin. I mean, I'm just kind of curious to, like, the fucking keypad part. Hold on. X. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to figure if they hit the wrong fucking button. Or maybe... Wait, 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 wait. That's... See, dumbasses hit the wrong button. See, they probably meant Latins, and then they fucking accidentally hit the fucking X because they're fucking stupid. God, nothing more annoying than motherfuckers who can't fucking write a decent paragraph. Fucking making me go insane with this shit. Trying to fucking unscramble their fucking illiterate shit. Oh, I'm like one of the worst Nazi grammars ever, people. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead hop off because my phone's about to die anyway. So um, I'm going to get my phone charged up. I'm going to come back a little later this evening with the fucking Saturday Night Jam fucking chill fucking sussing. So, everyone... Y'all have a good early Saturday evening. I'll catch you guys later this evening. So, um, come back later and fucking jam out with some fucking old school music. From rock and roll to hip hop to fucking pop, dance, fucking country, what the fuck ever. I'll be taking fucking song requests too as well. So, everyone, see you in a bit. <laughs>